In 1891, a Serbian scientist demonstrated his latest inventions before an awestruck audience at Columbia University. Tubes held in the hand of Mr. Tesla, a reporter wrote, appeared like a luminous sword in the hand of an archangel representing justice. Nikola Tesla was already famous, the scientist whose experiments with electricity were destined to transform daily life in the 20th century. We live in an electrical world. We take it off for granted. We have light bulbs, we run our refrigerators, our air conditioners, our electrical motors. All of that is all directly back to Tesla. A hundred years ago, he pointed the way toward robots, radio, radar, remote control, the wireless transmission of messages and pictures. He dreamed of harnessing the wind and the sun to make free energy available for everyone. When you think about the electricity, you think of Edison, but Tesla was just much more of an original American than, than Edison. Tesla had a lot of obsessions and odd phobias, and yet he was enormously popular and uh, celebrated. They did not stop him. At the turn of the 20th century, Tesla was acclaimed. Millions of Americans knew his name. But only decades later, he was forgotten by all but a few. He doesn't have a disciplined imagination. He has a fertile imagination. And so he's, he's kind of crazy. Oh, he's a genius, no, no doubt about it. But he's an idiosyncratic genius. His luxuriant imagination was the source of his genius and the cause of his downfall. 